What's up guys and gals? Uh, I had a lot of people asking me why I changed my uh, Pit Boss Copperhead 5 controller to a Rectech. And I'm gonna be honest here, I didn't have any issue at all with the controller of the Pit Boss. I have an Austin XL and I have no issue. My temp swings are 510 degrees. Perfect. The only reason I upgraded to a Rectech was simply for the Wi-Fi. Simply so I can control the on and off functions, set the temperatures, change the offset temperatures. That's about it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. And you have to confirm yes. So I guess you don't uh, turn your grill on in your pocket. So there you go, I turned it on. It's kind of hard, to, there we go. So I set it to 225. Let me open the door up. Well, that, that's really why I got it was to have control, to turn it on and off for my phone, to always know what the temperature was, to change the offset temperature. If I wanted 225 on this second rack, then I can make it be 225 exactly on that second, third rack. And also the two wireless probes. So I'll be able to check my the meat temperature, whether I'm inside or if I have to you have to run off to do an errand. I can still keep track of my keep track of my temps and uh, and my meat temps. So that's why I upgraded was the simplicity of being able to have control right on my phone. So should be uh, lighting up here. See some smoke coming out. And it's really fast as well. It's like, all right, I'm gonna go to 235. And as soon as you can push the button, it changes it. 240, 245. I mean, it does it instantly. Got some smoke rolling now. So yeah, guys, that, that's why I did it. Nothing against the Pit Boss controller. It, it does the job really well. This is gonna be my first long smoke with the Rectech PID. Um, doing a brisket tonight. So I'll let you guys go. Uh, let you know how it goes tomorrow. Hopefully it turns out pretty good. All right guys.